12 most overfished species. Number 12, orange ruffy. With a lifespan up to 150 years, this fish doesn't reach sexual maturation until it's nearly 32. That makes it all too vulnerable to overfishing, because fishermen tend to troll for the fish when it congregates to breed and feed. Resulting catches can wipe out generations of the orange ruffy. Although it hasn't yet been declared endangered, a number of organizations have taken note of the ruffy's sharp decline in numbers after only 25 years of being commercially fished. Number 11. Atlantic halibut. Reaching a length of 9 feet and weighing up to 1,000 pounds, it's the largest member of the flatfish species. It's especially subject to overfishing because it doesn't become sexually mature till 10 or 14 years of age, meaning many of them are caught before having a chance to reproduce. Bottom troller fisheries often catch them as bycatch, although they're usually caught with hook and line. The numbers aren't increasing, and they aren't expected to recover anytime soon. With the International Union for Conservation of nature, listing them as endangered, the U.S. has banned Atlantic halibut fishing in its coastal waters. Number 10. Acadian redfish. Because it has a lifespan of 50 years, it doesn't reach its reproductive stage until 9 or 10, by which time many of the fish have been caught. To make matters worse, the redfish is subject to pirate fishing, or fishing in violation of international law. Intensive trawling over the past decade has led to the lowest yield of redfish since the 1930s, when they were first commercially fished. And so you know, trawling involves a boat pulling a net that is cast wide and deep enough to drag the ocean floor, where it can stir up sediment and potentially alter the seafloor habitat, affecting many forms of marine life. Number nine. Boccaccio rockfish. Over 70 species of rockfish live off the west coast of the U.S., and this is the one considered critically endangered by the IUCN. While many overfished species suffer from reaching sexual maturity at later ages, the rockfish can reproduce within four to five years, but the survival rate of its larvae is very low. Since the 1970s, changes in ocean temperature and current result in great numbers of the larvae only becoming juveniles once every 20 years. Several West Coast fisheries were shut down by the U.S. in 2002, but even without trolling in the areas, it's thought that Boccaccio populations would need a century to recover. Number 8. Beluga sturgeon. Eggs of this fish are known as true caviar. Due to demand for the delicacy, though, these animals have become heavily overfished, often with gill nets which are nets that are positioned on the ocean floor like a fence. If an oversized fish swims into the net, it's caught by the gills and cannot escape. Beluga sturgeon can live to be 100 years old and grow to 15 feet long, but their historic spawning grounds in the Caspian Sea have decreased by 90% in the last few decades. This fish is endangered, and its population is expected to continue declining. Number seven. Sharks. The big fish are harvested for their meat, fins, and for liver oil. But its most sought after and valuable part is usually the fin, which is the prime ingredient used in shark fin soup. Sharks are highly migratory creatures and can be found from the poles to the tropics and in waters in between. But aside from Antarctica, there are no international limits imposed on harvesting the creatures. It's estimated that commercial fisheries kill more than 100 million sharks each year. No surprise then that shark populations have made a steep decline, with only 10% of their original populations said to remain. Among the most critically endangered sharks are the angel shark, found off tropical waters of South America, the zebra shark of the Indo-Pacific Ocean, and yes, even the great white shark. It's considered vulnerable due to overfishing and hunting. Number 6. Winter Skate. Most of these animals are found in waters of the Northwest Atlantic Ocean from Canada to the U.S. They're known to use electricity to stun and deter predators. This was once considered a so-called trash fish by commercial fisheries, but as populations of bottom-dwelling fish like cod and haddock have declined, winter skates are now harvested for fish meal, lobster bait, and even marketed for human consumption. Because skates are slow to reach sexual maturity and have few offspring, the populations have experienced a 90% decline in adult skates since the 1970s. The IUCN rates them as critically endangered. Number 5.
number five. European eel. This animal is mostly found in the Baltic and Mediterranean seas and in the North Atlantic. Their unique life cycle is a factor for being critically endangered. Eels are born at sea, then live in freshwater streams located thousands of miles inland until reaching sexual maturity at anywhere from 6 to 30 years of age, at which time they return to the sea to reproduce. But here's the dilemma. If their sea route is blocked, they return to freshwater and can live for 50 years. If they manage to return to salt water and spawn, they'll die. Because of that, most eels caught at sea are juveniles that haven't had a chance to reproduce, resulting in catastrophic overfishing. Number four, Chilean sea bass. It's also called the Patagonian toothfish and is one of the most sought after fish in the world, even though it's not really a bass and it's not always found in Chilean waters. Demand for this fish exploded during the 1990s and has maintained its popularity as a star seafood attraction after being endorsed by celebrity chefs like Gordon Ramsay. But all that fame does come with a hefty cost. The fish could possibly go extinct within five years unless people lose their appetite for the sea bass. Like many species on the list, the sea bass suffers from slow growth and not reaching sexual maturity until at least 10 years of age. So with fewer offspring, the species is extremely vulnerable to overfishing. Still have a taste for sea bass. Number three. Maltese ray, it once populated the Mediterranean Sea. Today, it's limited to the Strait of Sicily, a channel running 90 miles between Tunisia and Italy. Not a lot is known about this species, but it is known to mature late and produce few offspring. The Maltese ray suffers from being taken as bycatch by commercial fishing vessels harvesting other species. The unwanted rays are tossed back to the water, often dying or dead. It's rated critically endangered by the IUCN due to the animal's decreasing numbers and slow government response to save it. Number two, Goliath grouper. They're rated as critically endangered and the U.S. has banned the harvest of this species since 1990. As the name implies, the large fish, sometimes growing up to eight feet long and weighing nearly 800 pounds. Reasons for its population decline include producing relatively few offspring because the fish only reproduce for a short time period, and juveniles accidentally become the bycatch of other fishing operations. Bycatch, by the way, occurs when fish or other marine creatures are caught during the commercial fishing of a different species. Remaining fish are often targeted during spawning time by hook and line fishing boats. The grouper lives in areas of the eastern Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic. Number one. Atlantic bluefin tuna. Commercial demand for the bluefin tuna has led to severe overfishing. Medium and large sized individuals are heavily targeted by the raw fish market of Japan in particular, where they're used in sushi and sashimi. The largest species of tuna, the Atlantic bluefin, can weigh up to 1,500 pounds and reach lengths of up to 15 feet. The native to the eastern and western Atlantic Ocean, in addition to the Mediterranean Sea. They were once found in the Black Sea as well, but they've gone extinct there. Since the 1970s, the Atlantic population has decreased by almost 90%, and populations in the North Atlantic are close to commercial extinction. Did you know that in 2013, a single bluefin tuna sold for a record $1.7 million? Don't know if it was an Atlantic bluefin, but still, that is some expensive fish food.